absolutely amazing. Tons of donations have come in in support of that. Um, this is it for me. This was uh, Plucky hosting for now. Um, I'll be passing it over to Evan. So thank you so much for Evan to take for taking over, and it was a lot of fun hosting. All right, we've got a $10 anonymous donation. Decided there's no better moment to donate as when finally seeing DS Dad again. Couldn't agree more with that. There's a $5 donation from Kamikaze194. Hey, AGDQ, first time donating against this constant struggle that is cancer. Shout out to the V4C guys who are donating to get Bernard to finally fl fly free. Greetings from Germany. It's a $50 anonymous donation. Loved Battle Clash and its sequel, Metal Combat. Light gun games and giant robots? Yes, please. A $100 donation from Anonymous. I showed my girlfriend the Super Mario speedrun last year, and we were like, we can do that. We were sadly mistaken. Everyone who speedruns at AGDQ are gods. Thanks for the entertainment, and kill those dirty animals. Got a $10 donation from Venom139. Love the event more and more every year, and kudos to the awesome runners. You guys are awesome. $30 donation from Captain Bread. First time donating? All these runs are amazing. Don't forget frames are people too, so kill those animals. A $25 donation from Tron Bon. Hey, AGDQ, this is my favorite time of the year. My boyfriend's mother is currently fighting a battle against cancer. She's one of the strongest people I've ever met, and I'm extremely grateful to have her in my life. Here's my donation to help her win the fight against cancer. $10 donation from Ice and Shadows. Mario Paint takes me back to some of my favorite childhood memories, gaming with my brother. Shout out to the spooky basement. We'll double, uh, yeah. $5 donation from Kirkuror, watching AG, AGDQ for two years now. Uh, fought back cancer 30 years ago, but lost another one on the 5th of January this year. Thank you. It's a $15 donation from Mario Pictionary. Excited to see Dodecahedron dominate this fly swatter game in Mario Paint. Drawing pictures quickly is one thing, but swatting those flies takes real skill. Keep up the great work and kudos all around for such a great event. $50 dona donation from E Bloody Candy. My boy Gigas Blue is holding it down with some fresh smart ball. Good luck. Donation goes to Sky's Choice. Got a $20 donation from Anonymous. What's up, AGDQ? Here's a dollar for every time someone said the word ball during the small ball run. Been watching runs on YouTube for years. Now I'm finally watching live, and it's time for my first donation. Shout out to all the runners sacrificing sleep to destroy these games for a great cause. Put this towards seeing the Undertale Genocide boss so we can all jam out to the best song in the game. And a $25 donation from Hell's Desire 5545. I was going to buy a pizza while watching AGDQ, but I thought I'd better donate it instead. Rip pizza. So we're going to throw it over to an interview right now. Yes, there we go. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. How are y'all doing? Hope you're on the great uh, AGDQ. I'm Golden, and I'm here with the guest who is named... 
the, I am the named. guest? <laughs> yes, that is my name. That's oh, my tag. Okay. I, I feel like we have a who's on first thing going on here. There's some potential. Perhaps. Uh, going to be running Kirby's Tilt and Tumble for us a little bit later today. Now, we've seen that game before, mm -hmm. and uh, it was played by shaking the GameCube physically. Right. You have to use the GameCube itself and press buttons at the same time. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a couple of ways people like can get a handle on it. Speaking of GameCube's handle, that's one way that some runners have figured out how to control the game. You sure. can hold the handle and try to press buttons. That's kind of complicated, though. But yeah, I understand you decided to take it a step further. You didn't want right. to play by shaking the GameCube. Right. So that's really hard to it? press buttons. So what I came up with was I was watching uh, Alta Biscuit actually play this game two years ago, I think. And he, he was just having a hard time on level 7. It occurred to me that, hmm, maybe I can use a DDR pad to make it easier and use my feet instead so I can have a good grip on the cube. So, so, so it kind of came are, to I mean, be from that. Yeah, and so now you're going to be doing a, a run live on stage with the DDR pad. Now, I, how do you practice for something like this? i got to imagine after a while it, it starts to get a little uh, tiring. I don't yeah, know. you can only like take an hour and a half at a time or so. Yeah, take it easy. That's interesting. So mm -hmm. do you play any other speed runs with the DDR pad? Is this exclusively to Tilt and Tumble? Um, well, there is no other games I play with a DDR pad. I know there's like well-accomplished gamers out there like Peking Boo who play games on DDR pad. Shouts to them. Mm -hmm. And... No, there's no other games on DDR pad I play. However, I'm big on the Kirby community and the speedrun community for a lot of different games. I play mostly just like other more button mashing kind of games like sure. Knight Strider. I got this guy right here. It's pretty cool. But yeah, Tilt and Tumble was kind of it. I like gimmicks though. Like I really enjoy runs with just something different or unique to see. And it just like it just throws people's expectations off, like, wow, you can do that, and you can make this a really good speed run as well. It's Yeah, like I really like that we have this block here that's just kind of showcasing mm -hmm. all these kind of other ways to play games, you know, you don't even think about. Um, but it's also kind of a history lesson, too. I mean, getting to see, like, the scope there, too. I think that's right. really awesome. Um, so, I mean, are you a DDR player, then, or is it just, I mean, how did you... I am terrible at DDR. Okay. That's not, like, <laughs> I'm just secret. curious. I, I gotta Nobody imagine maybe it would translate. Yeah. No, I didn't. It's just, like, I, that pad I got from a thrift store, and I just happened to have it for that game. Nice. That's awesome. It turned out that way. Well, we have some questions here uh, from Twitter, and I'm going to bring them onto the stream sure. now. So let's start with one here. Uh, this is from Crazy Cal. What got you into speedrunning a motion control game like this? I well, guess you kind of... Yeah, I kind of already bit, answered but. that. Well, it's just like, it just kind of happens. You know? Yeah, if you wanted to try something different. And yeah, try something different. Why not? I, I love this, though, because too. it's so creative. You know, I think people get stuck on blindfolded as like, oh, that's the only way to make or it like, more interesting. Or but like really stuck on just using the same controller for a game where right. like you can just use there's, so many different options. There's so much potential to take a game you're games. already playing well. and, and transform it just by doing something like mm -hmm. that. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. We got another one I'm going to try to throw up on the stream. Let's take a look at this one here uh, from Super Wonder Guard. Out of all Kirby games to speed run, why tilt and tumble well. laughing <laughs> out loud? <laughs> Well, like I said, I'm actually big on other Kirby speed games. Uh, I've played Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, Superstar Ultra, and Robobot. I've done speedruns of those for the Meta Knight modes. And I've, I'm just pretty big with the community. They're a pretty great group of people. I'm glad to be a part of it. So I guess my final question to you is, uh, where do we go from here? What's the next, you know, is there another DDR pad game in the future or maybe another controller? I'm thinking there might in? be another game of this style in the future. Maybe not with Kirby, maybe with Pac-Man or maybe with Marble Madness or just another kind of way to uniquely play your game. I'm always looking for ways like that. Awesome. Well, good luck in your run a little bit later. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to continue the quirky controller block here at AGDQ 2017 as we push closer to that $200,000 mark. Thank you all for donating Stay tuned, to the folks. Prevent Cancer Foundation, and we will keep this show rolling. So we'll throw it back up to the front. All right. Thanks, Golden, for that. So we're getting ready for the Sega Bass Fishing uh, run, which is going to feature a, uh, an actual fishing rod controller. That should be quite interesting to watch with fuzziness, so definitely stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we have a $100 donation from the Nomad159. I've loved watching all the GDQs the past several years, looking forward to all the runs, and the $100 can go to the announcer's choice and I will make that towards the Super Metroid uh, rotated run. Got a $100 donation from Hexdrops. Way to go, Evan, on the DS Dad callout. Stay classy, cancer sucks. Could not agree more. 
$20 donation from Gabe126. Hey guys, this donation goes towards Mudkip's name as Waluigi in Pokemon Emerald. Let the wah continue here at AGDQ 2017. Thanks for that. Got a $5 donation from Majestic Monster. Dear Fishing RNG Jesus, please be with us. Shout outs to Fuzzy. a $15 donation from Victor Vlai. Greetings from the Netherlands. I always love watching this event, and I hope that it will continue to get bigger and bigger. Everyone, keep up the great work for this awesome cause. Just as a reminder, you if you bid a minimum amount of $15 in your donation, you are eligible to win the PS4 Pro bundle with 10 games and a VR uh, kit as well. We also have the AGDQ Hail to the King banner that you see on your screen right now for a minimum bid of $50. So if you get your donations in, you will be eligible to win those. Got a $20 donation from the Unexpected Mango. First time watcher, this event is great, so I had to donate. Half goes to Undertale Genocide Boss Battle, half goes to naming Mudkip Dat Boy. Got a $10 anonymous donation, long time viewer, first time donator. Just wanted to give a shout out to the amazing runners, announcers, and crowd. Donate another five bucks if everyone who has seen the Leprechaun says, yeah. Got a $50 anonymous donation. Greetings from Germany. Long time viewer, first time donator. Also save the frames and kill the animals. a $5 donation from Jay Holland 33 Been waiting for this event for ages to donate. I felt the need to donate a decent amount because of two family members and a pet dying to cancer. So let's team up to fight back. Let's get Guzma and Galisapod their well-deserved victory. Got a $12.15 donation from Alice's dad. I'm making this donation on behalf of my daughter, Alice, now six. Some of you may remember her donating her piggy bank at SGDQ, and she's been saving up since then to donate again since this event. This goes to saving the animals again. I did explain the idea of saving frames, but she is sure they should go faster elsewhere and then save the animals. Got a $20 donation from V Norek. $20 to help people in the fight against cancer is the least I can do for the entertainment this has provided me over the years. Thanks so much to all the players and best of luck. A $100 anonymous donation. Thank you to all the runners in the organization for this event. Let's hope to see these days get very interesting runs. a $200 donation from Rotation for You. Oh, this is happening. Enjoy. Thanks for that. Got a $10 donation from Lunicus. Another $10 if I can see high five from DS Dad and DS Guy. There we go. All right. There's a $40.01 donation from The Reject, donating for that very impressive Battle Clash run. Great job to SCXCR. The 
$15 donation from Pico's Engel. Hey GDQ, third time watching, first time donating. Good games for a great cause. My neighbor's dog just died of cancer, and in his memory, this money goes towards saving the animals because no one should have to suffer from this horrible disease. Keep up the great work. A $25 donation from Primal Fox. I can't let AJ Styles be outdone. The face that runs the place loses to no one. $15 donation from Becky207. Been watching AGDQ for a few years now, but first time donating. In 2015, my grandfather sadly passed away after a battle with cancer, so it's really amazing to see everyone working together to help kick cancer's butt. Oh man, there's a $25 anonymous donation uh, that is challenging me to say Toy Boat five times fast. Uh, all right. Toy Boat, Toy Boat, Toy Boat, Toy Boat, Toy Boat. Wow, that's much harder than it sounds. A $75 donation from Sully McAwesome. So glad I finally have enough spare cash to send some money to such a great cause. You all make gamers look proud, not just for being amazing at what you do, but for using that in such an amazing way here at AGDQ. Stay awesome. $50 anonymous donation, loving the event. Kill the animals, though. I agree. A $25 anonymous donation, great cause and great runs. My monies go towards the Mudkip name to name Waluigi. And shout out to DS Dad, who proves that not all heroes wear capes. $5 donation from the Elmore. Donating just because I won another Wario. Wah! That was even better than the first time. Good job, guys. Also, save the animals. $5 donation from Hamsaurus. This donation is for my cute baby birds. Animals are adorable, so save them. Save them all. It's a $60 anonymous donation. Hello, guys. I really love what you're doing. Keep it going. Also, save the animals. Coming up next in the quirky controller block of Awesome Games Done Quick 2017, we have Sega Bass Fishing, featuring a real uh, fishing rod controller like you've never seen before. So definitely stay tuned for that. We've also still got that Super Metroid rotation hack uh, bonus incentive running. Uh, we're trying to reach $15,000 right now. We're a little under 3000 so get your donations in for that. It's going to be a really cool run if we get that working. Got a $250 donation from Kevin3. Donating to name the fly user after AJ Styles, the face that runs the place, and the champ that runs the camp flies like no one out there. Five dollar donation from Just Nope. It's not much, but I fully back what you guys do. My mother went through breast cancer three times, and as of last month, she has been five years cancer free and officially announced cured of her cancer. This is my first time donating, but I'll be back in the future. Keep up the good work. A 
$100 donation from Lord Eldrick. I love AGDQ and watch it every year. I think what you guys do is great, and it's amazing to see the runners beating games in such unconditional ways. Looking forward to the Kirby Tilt and Tumble Run. Put my money towards killing the animals. Got a $10 donation from Gamer27 that just simply says, Go Alice. And with that, guys, we're going to get started on our Sega bass fishing run with fuzziness. Let's hear it for fuzziness, everybody. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> so, whenever you guys are ready, yo, what's up, guys? Yo. So, we got some fishing action. Um, this is definitely the most utmost series of speed games, so Absolutely. please give your gratitude to this run. Uh, can I get a timer, uh, like a countdown? Three, two, two, one, one. go, oh. all right. Yeah. Nice. Select your area, large area. <laughs> all right, you're going to hit lots of cheesy uh, voices. So this is um, a quite heavy RNG game. But uh, sometimes you just don't care because the game's so fun anyway. So we're going to go to a specific place. We're going to throw it here and pray to uh, the RN you know who. <laughs> Are we going to get blessed? Oh, we're blessed. Oh, turn around, turn around, please. Oh, we're blessed, we're blessed. Oh! <laughs> Trolled. Trolled, dude. So yeah, uh, welcome to Say Goodbye to Fishing. That would have been a reset. <laughs> But we got some guitar solo, so it's fine. Oh, big one! It's a big one, boys. We did it. All right, that's not what we wanted. We wanted the green guy. A big, big one close by. Yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> so if I reel when it's red, I'm like uh, Sonic Adventure, uh, because you guys probably played Sonic Adventure with Dig. Uh, it will break the fish. But ideally, we want to catch one big green fish. This one's huge! <laughs> so yeah, um, this is the worst level in the game. There's like four different spots, and uh, you basically roll the dice and pray. And usually the dice Enjoy is on this side. So here we switch like to the, the deep point. crank, because you want to get nice and deep. That's how we like it. <laughs> oh, that's not the one. Come on. Oh, he's not here. I gotta take the small one. Marathon strats. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, All right, we're gonna go to the spot and see a big boys over there. That's what we call them in this okay, game. We're not gonna say time. the name of the other one though, because it's not appropriate. <laughs> All right, big boy. His big boy over here. Big boy? Nah, the big boy. Okay, that sucks. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, you want him. Come on! Oh. No! <laughs> Welcome to Sega Man Stage. He was right there, dude. He was right there. Come on, man. Trolled. Oh, boy. We got a special law, boys. No, we don't want that one. Come on. We want the green guy we just saw. If he's there still. He's not there anymore. Ah. He's gone. All right, let's try the other spot. So as you saw, sometimes the game just trolls you. And uh, there's loads of things that can happen in this game. We're probably gonna run out of time because I got trolled. Oh, it's the one I don't want to name on stream. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I, I gotta get better at RNG manipulation, guys. I'm pretty bad. <laughs> We run out of time. We're gonna run out of time. No. All right. So another fun fact about this game. Uh, watch how long this takes. Watch how long this takes. So I press start button, right? Look how long this takes. <laughs> the game's already loaded. <laughs> He's just having a look, dude. He just wants to have a good look. Come on. Come on. There we go. 
<laughs> All righty, we got it. Bring him in. All right, we got him. <laughs> See, that one was big enough to complete the whole level in one fish. But instead, you know what happens. Like, this is how it is. All right, so ideally, this one has two spots uh, you want. Uh, if you don't know, if you don't get those spots, uh, we don't want that. We want. Oh my god, I hate when it gives me random lures. Okay. Ideally, you want it to be here, like right here. Nope. Okay. <laughs> if it's not there, it's usually on the right. Come on, game. We don't want to game over again. I think I game over, game over three times at DreamHack. It was pretty painful. Oh, there he is. All right. <laughs> Fish! <laughs> Look at that juicy lag. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. HD graphics, dude. Oh, now it's not lagging anymore because the camera's out of the water. Let's go! <laughs> Just wag the rod for no reason. <laughs> it might not be big enough, guys. It's not over yet. It's, n it's not over. It's not big enough. It <laughs> feels bad, man. All right, we need more. We need more fish. We need anything. Anything. He's not big enough. No. All right. So everything apart from the green one, you can just pull in straight away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. They know it rarely breaks. This is wagging about. <laughs> it looks so no. stupid. <laughs> no. That's not enough. I'm gonna game over again. No, this game, dude. We need anything. 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 Come on, we can get it in time. Come on. Give us a chance, game. Oh, 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 oh. No, we're gonna run out of time. Oh, we got seven Come seconds. On. Let's go. <laughs> Put all your energy into it. Hey! <laughs> Final level. <laughs> Clutch. <laughs> that was funny. Clutch master over here. Alright, this one's usually here. If not, it could be anywhere. Oh, we're blessed. We're blessed. Come on. Come on, you little bugger. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know having a look is a good thing sometimes, but sometimes you need to eat. <laughs> Time's coming up uh, in a second, I'll tell you when. It's fine. So time is when I press like A, pretty much here. Yeah. And... Time! <laughs> that went alright. <laughs> I got trolled a little bit. <laughs> so ideally in this game, you want to catch four big green fish. Uh, and you want to know the spots. That's pretty much it. The rest is just whatever the game gives you. Uh, this is for Chad. Please give me all your lows. There you go. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We got some DDR pad action next. So yeah. it's going to be sweet. All right, everybody. Cool. Let's give it up one more time for fuzziness. <laughs> That was the absolutely amazing Sega Bass Fishing Run. Up next, we've got Kirby Tilt and Tumble. It's a donation incentive. Glad you guys donated in to get that. In the meantime, we've got some donations. $10 from Patau. Shoutouts to my one and only Fuzzy. Hey, quick question. When are you going to do Melee All Events Fishing Rod Controller? World record attempts. Put this money towards fighting cancer.
Got a $50 donation from Asmodai. Good luck to all the runners. May the RNG gods look favorably on you. Big shout out to all the old Amiga heads watching the stream. Money can be put to incentive of announcer's choice. And I will put that towards the Super Metroid uh, rotated attempt. A $75 donation from Roy De La Cour. I've lost a kid in my class the second year I started teaching. So donate to not have any more kids robbed from their childhood and able to play all these awesome games. Greetings from the Netherlands. Got a $10 donation from Greyhulk9999. Fishing, how do you speedrun?